The movie opens up in the middle of a dense forest, where a young girl named Anna lives with her guardian Gabe. She calls Gabe her daddy, and the latter takes care of her needs and ensures her good health. Gabe has been keeping Anna in the attic of the house, never letting her explore the outside world. The little girl has never been outside the attic, except for a window that offers a glimpse of the world beyond. Almost every night, Gabe describes wildlings, frightening creatures with sharp teeth, long nails, and a hairy appearance to Anna, suggesting she stay away from them. These descriptions scare Anna, but her curiosity about the outside world continues growing. To protect her from the wildlings, and to prevent her from leaving the attic, Gabe electrifies the doorknobs. He claims to be her father and provides for her, giving her only vegetables to eat and forbidding meat. One day, Anna overhears Gabe talking to someone else, and her curiosity gets the better of her. She touches the doorknob and receives a powerful electric shock, causing her to lose consciousness. Later, when she wakes up, Gabe is by her side, explaining that the electric trap is meant to keep wildlings out. He reveals that she is the last surviving child on Earth, and it is his duty to protect her. Anna asks about the person Gabe was speaking to, but he diverts the topic and insists they are the only humans left. On Anna's birthday, Gabe surprises her with a cake and a hamster as a companion. The little animal becomes Anna's closest friend. However, one day, the hamster dies, and Gabe explains the concept of death to her, assuring her that the hamster is in a better place now. As Anna grows older, she starts having nightmares of wildlings in the woods. When she reaches puberty and begins menstruating, Gabe finds bloodstains on her bed. Worried, he administers Luprolide, a medication that slows her growth and worsens her health over time, disguising it as a treatment for her illness. This medication continues for years, and Anna starts feeling pain and uneasiness because of it. Unable to bear it anymore, she requests Gabe to end her misery by sending her to a better place like her hamster. Hearing this, Gabe becomes overwhelmed with guilt, as he has been troubling the little girl right since her birth. So he brings out a gun and ends himself. In the following scene, Anna wakes up in a hospital surrounded by unfamiliar faces, causing her to panic. She then immediately escapes her room and finds herself on the rooftop, experiencing the warmth of the sun for the first time. However, some officers bring her back to the hospital room and restrain her to a bed. Sheriff Ellen helps calm her down and learns about her true identity. The doctor reveals that Anna has been given an overdose of Luprolide, a medication that delays maturity and inhibits growth. Hearing this, Sheriff Ellen releases Anna from the restraints and takes her into temporary custody. Rather than sending her to any foster home, she decides to take her to her own home, where she lives with her brother Ray. The sheriff agrees to take care of her while they await the DNA tests to determine her identity and whether Gabe is her biological father. Here we get to know that Gabe is not dead, he is actually being treated in the other room of the hospital. Moving on, Anna begins to settle into her new life and develops a close bond with Ray. Ray teaches her about reproduction, as Anna previously had misconceptions about how babies are made. As she enters puberty, she discovers her exceptional hearing ability and starts having visions of wildlings in the Northern Lights Forest. Anna also attends school with Ray, where she meets girls her age for the first time. Driven by curiosity, Anna visits the library to learn more about the Northern Lights and the wildlings. Under Ellen's care, Anna now enjoys the freedoms to explore nature and spend time outdoors. One day, while she is returning from school, she spots a deer and gives it a chase. Luckily, before Anna's about to stumble into a hunter's trap, 
a strange man wearing wolf skin as his outfit blocks her way. The next day, curious to learn more about feral predators, Anna visits the library. As she flips through the pages of a book, she notices black marks on her fingernails. Later at night, when Anna's in the bathtub, Ellen reveals the results of the DNA test, indicating that Gabe is not her biological father. This revelation leaves Anna clueless, as the concept of the family remains unclear to her. One evening, Anna and Ray spend time together on the rooftop. While Ray tries to assist her with a school assignment, Anna's attention is drawn to the topic of the Northern Lights. As they lie down, Anna notices flickering lights in the distance, which turn out to be a party at Jen's house. Anna mentions that Jen is her friend, and they both decide to attend the party. This is the first time she's heading to a large gathering. However, after consuming a drink, Anna starts feeling disoriented. During the party, Ray and Anna share a brief romantic moment that catches the attention of Lawrence, their classmate. Unfortunately, their kiss is abruptly interrupted when Anna's mouth starts bleeding. She rushes to the bathroom and discovers that she is losing some of her teeth. Filled with panic, Anna escapes through a window and runs through a forest. Suddenly, she's attacked from behind by what appears to be a wildling. In an act of self-defense, Anna fights and bites back, only to realize that it is Lawrence. She tries to help him up, but unfortunately, it is too late. The poor boy dies due to severe blood loss. Worried, Anna runs away and returns to Gabe's home in search of answers about her own identity. Seeking solace, she heads to the attic and enters her old bedroom. She then cleans herself up and immediately makes her way into town. When she arrives home, Ellen questions her whereabouts, but Anna doesn't disclose anything and simply remains silent. Right then, Officer Roger arrives there and reveals that Lawrence has disappeared. He tries to question Anna if she knows something about it, but Ellen dismisses the idea and sends him away. Afterwards, she confronts Anna in an attempt to extract information, but the teenager keeps her mouth shut, confining her thoughts and experiences to herself. As the days pass, Anna's ongoing silence starts to bother Ellen, who notices her painting her nails instead of talking. That evening, Ray enters the room to address Anna's distress and assures Ellen that he will take care of it. But despite his best efforts, Anna remains quiet. Ray then checks her mouth and learns that she's losing her teeth. In a panic, he immediately goes outside to inform Ellen, giving Anna the opportunity to escape. She runs into the woods, the only place she feels safe and calm. To her surprise, she encounters Wolfman again, who offers her food after noticing her hungry. He then examines her nails and teeth, suspecting she might be a wildling, a group that was supposedly eliminated 16 years ago. The Wolfman also reveals that her mother's body is still present inside the cave. Intrigued by the chance to learn about her mother's identity, Anna follows Wolfman to a nearby cave. Inside, she discovers a skull with a bullet hole in it. Holding it, she gets a vision of Gabe, her supposed father, shooting her mother. It becomes clear that Gabe took part in the purge, but couldn't harm baby Anna, so he brought her along with him. After knowing this, Anna goes straight to the hospital to confront Gabe. But sadly, she is unable to do anything as Gabe wakes up and looks at her with pitiful eyes. Meanwhile, Ellen examines the case file regarding Lawrence's death and notices a connection to a drawing from Anna's old room. The latter also returns home, desperately seeking protection. But unfortunately, as soon as Ellen notices her claw-like nails, she handcuffs her. Ellen then reveals that Anna's clothes were found near Lawrence's dead body, and that's why the entire city suspects her of the murder. Next, Anna is sent to jail despite her pleas that she is innocent. While in the prison, she looks into the mirror and notices her teeth growing sharper, 
resembling the skull she found. That night, Gabe visits Anna in her cell, admitting that sparing her life was his biggest mistake. He gives Anna a syringe, urging her to inject herself for a chance at a better life. However, Anna, embracing her identity as a wildling, refuses the injection. Gabe becomes emotional as he leaves her in the cell and walks away. The next day, Ellen checks on Anna, who is hiding under the bed and sleeping. Ellen opens the cell, but Anna surprises her by attacking unexpectedly. She then manages to lock up the officers, including Ellen, and escapes. Once she reaches outside, she coincidentally finds Ray in his car. Anna approaches him and convinces him to help her. She wants him to drive her to the Northern Lights, the place where she was born. On the way, Anna also reveals that she is a wildling. Later, Ray stops the car in the middle of the forest, and Anna decides to continue her journey alone. But Ray is worried for her well-being, so he begins following her. In the darkness, Anna takes a swim in a nearby lake and ends up soaking wet. Concerned that she might catch a cold, Ray sets up a bonfire to dry her clothes. As Anna takes off her garments, Ray notices hair growing on her back and becomes startled. However, Anna reassures him that he is safe and promises not to harm him. The scene then shifts to Roger and Gabe discussing Anna's escape. After a lot of thinking, they decide to organize a group of hunters to capture Anna. In the next scene, we see Anna and Ray running into the woods while they're being pursued by search dogs. Unfortunately, the hunters also arrive at the same time and shoot Ray in the shoulder. As they struggle to find an escape route, Anna takes Ray on a cliff. Determined to save him, she pushes him into the water and then dives in herself to evade capture. After this, Anna leads the hunters in a different direction while asking Ray to run in the opposite direction. Anna then goes straight to the same cave where she found her mother's remains. Next, Ray reunites with his sister and informs her that Anna is no longer with him. Anna is now alone, adapting to desperate measures to survive. During the first few days of her survival in the forest, Anna undergoes a transformation and turns into a wildling. To keep herself hidden from the hunters, she covers her face and body with dirt as camouflage. One morning, during his daily walk to the school, Ray notices Roger filling up gallons with gas. Suspecting that they are planning to hunt and kill Anna, Ray quickly calls Ellen and informs her about it. In the forest, Anna manages to kill one of the hunters by knocking him down, and as the group gathers around the body, she runs away. Anna has now transformed into a complete wildling, and she can hunt people in the blink of an eye. Meanwhile, Ellen arrives in the forest to rescue the troubled teenager. She gets scared seeing the dead bodies lying around, and to make matters worse, Roger holds her at gunpoint, asking her to stay away from the matter. But right then, Anna arrives there and kills Roger as well. She reveals herself to Ellen, showing her pregnant belly before fleeing. In the following scene, the hunters set the forest on fire, further fueling Anna's anger. She witnesses the fire engulfing her home and realizes that she must find a way to escape the heat. Despite her pregnancy limiting her strength, Anna runs around seeking refuge. Eventually, she ends up in a familiar cave, similar to where she was found. To her dismay, Gabe tracks her down and sedates her with a tranquilizer. The shot weakens Anna, causing her to collapse to the floor. Gabe then approaches her to check her vital signs, reminiscing about her mother. He performs a C-section to claim the unborn child. But Anna regains her strength and inflicts a fatal bite on Gabe's neck, which finally kills him. After this, she lets out an angry shriek before falling to the ground once again. Upon regaining consciousness, Anna finds Wolfman stitching her wounds. 
The next day, while searching for Anna, Ellen and Ray notice her from a distance and decide to allow her to escape into the wilderness. Both of them believe that letting her go will be the best thing to do for her. Eventually, Anna reaches the Northern Lights, her ultimate goal. Holding her newborn child, she gazes at the beautiful sky, feeling peace and contentment with her life. The movie ends with Anna hearing the call of a wildling in the distance, suggesting that 